Hello and welcome to Community Conversations. I'm your host, Fremont Unified Superintendent Kim Wallace, sitting in for KK Kanashiro. The Fremont Unified School District is always on the lookout for talented teachers and staff to join the organization and provide the best educational opportunity for students. To that end, the district's Human Resources Department is hosting a Certificated Educator Job Fair on Saturday, May 5th, here at the district office. Teachers of all grade levels and subjects are encouraged to register and attend. With us today to discuss the job fair and working for Fremont Unified are Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources, Dr. Raul Zamora, along with Warwick Elementary teacher, Kelsey Bailey, and Brookvale, Brookvale Elementary teacher, Ashley Browning. So, welcome to our show today. We're really glad to have you here. Uh, we always love springtime when we have our um, looking forward to the future and trying to fill our, our open positions for next fall. And we have some fairly new teachers in the room with us here today. And we have Dr. Zamora, who's been working in our human resources department for several years. And so I just want to talk to you a little bit about the job fair. Maybe you can give us some of the logistics first, and then we'll talk a little bit about what it's like working in Fremont Unified. So we're really excited to offer the job here at Fremont because it really gets us to get to know the teachers as well as we interview them on site and then possibly offer them a contract right then and there to become district employees. The important part about the job fair is that they need to apply online at www.edjoin.org so that they can receive an invitation to be invited to the job fair and then they'll get notified exactly at what time they need to join. The, the important part is to make sure that they upload all of their documents so that we have a complete package, we know what to expect when they arrive here at the job fair. So they can't just walk in off the street. They, they can. can't see the ad and say, oh, I think I'll show right. up. Exactly. It's really important that they fill out that paperwork first. Right, because we really want to get a full picture before they arrive so that we know what to expect. And then we can actually uh, interview them and get all the logistics out of the way. Right, and it expedites the process, exactly. I'm sure, for everybody involved. Exactly. How many people right. usually do we see at our job you fairs? You know, it's anywhere from 200 to 300. Wow. And so we're hoping to get that momentum going again. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's an amazing, an amazing experience, and it's really fortunate to have Ashley and Kelsey here to talk about their experience on our outreach uh, because they were, you know, one of our, or two of our rock stars that we hired and it's just a, an, a fabulous experience for them. Mm -hmm. So did you attend the job fair or did you come to Fremont in a different way? I attended the job fair. Uh -huh. It was one of the two districts that I attended. And like you said, I just applied on EdJoin, got information about the job fair. I believe it was on a Saturday and you came and you talked to different people that worked throughout the district and everybody was so warm and friendly and mm -hmm. comforting and then asked questions and they tried to find the perfect fit, which I really appreciate it. Okay. My experience was a little bit different because I attended Sonoma State's job fair, okay. um, but lo and behold, I ran into um, my old principal and old was principal. Yeah, not former principal. Old. Principal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks high like. <laughs> <laughs> and so in our conversation, we sort of wrapped into education in a different way rather than me entertaining um, with my resume. It was discussing the values that we see in education. Um, I was interviewed on the spot, pulled aside to kind of converse about what my goals were. Mm -hmm. um, and then Fremont fulfilled those goals within weeks of that conversation. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So there's multiple ways to come to Fremont. Sure. It's not just the job fair, but that's one avenue that we have coming up. Now, Kelsey, you uh, come from a family of teachers, and, yes, and I do. so you have some history here. Yes. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Uh, my mother was a kindergarten teacher in the district for over a decade. Uh, my aunt is actually a kindergarten teacher at the school I'm at. We share a wall. <laughs> There's a door that connects our rooms. And um, my dad was a principal of a junior high high school, and now he is at the district office. Yes. So it's in the family, <laughs> it three months in the, in the family. family. <laughs> That's wonderful. And so how's your experience been? Is it what you thought it would be teaching mm -hmm. here? Yes. I mean, um, I always was familiar with Fremont. I went to Brookvale Elementary School before I moved to Livermore. And so it's nice to see the same faces that I saw growing up and now mm -hmm. because it shows that people like it here. They want to stay, which I think is always a good thing. Um, the level of support I've gotten is even greater than I thought it would be. I remember 
student teaching being like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do this by myself next mm -hmm. year. Like this is so scary and overwhelming, but it's even more supportive than having a master teacher, which is incredible. That's great, that's what we wanna hear. <laughs> All right, what about you? Do you come from a family of educators or did you deviate from the, the path? Um, I have a few in the family, but I was that kindergartner that said, oh, I'm going to mm -hmm. be a teacher when I grow up. And then I was that high school kid that said, I want to work with kids. And so for yeah. summer after summer, I worked at summer camps yeah. and I nannied. And yeah. when I got the opportunity at Sonoma to do an accelerated program, um, I knew walking into freshman year I wanted to be a teacher mm -hmm. still and it held fast until now and I love what I do and this is a great place to do it. Great, thank you. So Dr. Zamora, when people are coming to the job fair do you find most people who are kind of similar to Ashley and Kelsey where they've wanted to be a teacher their whole career or do you have a, a wide variety of people coming who have had other careers, different ages? What, what's kind of the clientele that tends to come to the Fremont Job you know, Fair. We do have a wide variety of people attending and all sorts of ranges. However, like Kelsey and Ashley mentioned, they really stand out. And that's what we're really looking for, those people mm -hmm. that stand out so that we can really make that connection with our students. And it was just, it's a, a thrilling experience for me to be on, on this side of it to see this is someone that we really want to entertain here at, mm -hmm. uh, at the Job Fair. So. Um, in Ashley's experience, we did have a high school principal interview her. I did not interview her. Mm -hmm. So that's the other special part about the job fairs. We're going to have principals available mm -hmm. to interview the candidates right then and there mm -hmm. so they can also see the fit for their school mm -hmm. and then um, also maybe for possibly other schools as well. And that's what's really um, great about this job fair is mm -hmm. that it's hands-on right then and there. If we, if we see that candidate, we're going to offer them a position. So how does that work then? So say that I'm a principal and I interview Ashley and I say, that's my person, I want her at my school. Do they get dibs? Do they get to say, I'm gonna hire this person? Or is it they're hired into the district and then the assignment comes later? Well, they're hired as a district employee because we still have to follow the contract uh, obligations that we have with our union. So we hire them as a district um, employee and then we follow the process as far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. um, they will go to a second tier interview and it'll be with myself or the director certificated, Sherry Strasbaugh, and we'll also vet that process out as well. And then uh, we'll follow the obligation of the contract mm -hmm. where they'll do a site interview as well. So it, it, it's a, it's a maybe a lengthy process, but it's right then and there. It's all combined all okay. together at once. So how many people do we usually hire, both certificated and classified on a yearly basis? You know, I mean, we're a large district, 35,000 yeah. students, 42 schools. We have 3,300 employees approximately. So right. w what are we looking at in terms of vacancies? You know, it, it really has been around anywhere from about 150, 180 for certificated. And it's probably about the same, the difference between certificated and classified. Certificated happens pretty much between um, May until about July, August. Classified, it's year round. We're just constantly mm -hmm. hiring uh, through classified. So it, it's a, uh, we have the rush for certificated, but then classified, it's just your It's kind of like a seasonal, like Correct. this is the season for certificated. Right. So you know, what about class, do they get a job fair for classified for secretaries and bus drivers and d does that also happen? It's interesting you mentioned that they are, they met today to plan their job fair as Perfect. well. So it right. happens uh, either biannually or annually mm -hmm. for classified, depending yeah. on the need. Um, the other part that we also want to bring to light is that we're fortunately through the FMLA, the Family Medical Leave Act, we have teachers that take maternity leave or paternity leave, mm -hmm. and we're also offering temporary contracts to help fill uh, those vacancies as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, what what are the needs really in a district like ours? I know that there are certain subject areas that are harder to fill than others. Is there a certain um, area that we particularly that we would say hey come please we need right. to see you at this job fair. You know what we're finding not only statewide but nationwide is a shortage in special ed, math and science uh, mm -hmm. and so that's been a, a really shortage on that. Right. I think a few years ago universities thought that uh, since of the decline of the economy they started to discourage students going into education but then now we're feeling the effects of that currently. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to bring that back at the university level. They're trying to focus on that. So mm -hmm. that is a, a real 
um, need for us, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, you know, like I said, nationwide. Mm -hmm. So if you are a special ed teacher and looking at uh, working with our students, I would strongly recommend applying online mm -hmm. and, or also reaching out to the current teachers like Ashley and Kelsey to see what's been their experience. Mm -hmm. and I, I would almost assure them that they find a positive experience all the way mm -hmm. around. So you said you've had a pretty positive experience so far and there's been a lot of support. So tell us what your experience has been so far too. I think one of the best parts is those that are hired are not only quality teachers, but they're quality people. Mm -hmm. um, walking onto Brookvale campus within the first week, I was offered so much support and so much kindness, mm -hmm. um, especially as a young new teacher. It feels mm -hmm. good to be welcomed by everyone on staff. Mm -hmm. So that positive atmosphere and that community feeling from the staff mm -hmm. relays to the children. And mm -hmm. we have a school full of kids who are excited to be a part of a community. Yeah. And I think that that's pretty unique. Yeah. And that's one of the things that is interesting about Fremont because we are such a large district. It, very easily, it could you could feel anonymous, you could feel lost as a child or as a teacher. And so it's very gratifying to hear that that's not been the experience. Even in such a such a big district, um, we've been able to create a family home like feel. So that's nice to hear. What are some other things that you would, if you were to? Speak to people who are considering coming to Fremont as a new teacher. What what would you what would you say to them that would be um, encouraging about what your experience has been like? I would say that they should absolutely apply. Um, it's a really great district to work for. One thing that I feel like I had an insight in, even when I was in college, was the union aspect of it because of my aunt and I also have an uncle who teaches here and how supportive the teachers are like you said like mm -hmm. I mean in the copy room people are like how was your day like can yeah. I help you with anything or uh -huh. they're making copies and they're like this would be great for kindergarten uh -huh. and they're putting things in your boxes and mm -hmm. I mean the administrators are coming in just popping their head in like are you good mm -hmm. if we get a new student I mean it's just the amount of support you'll receive is incredible and mm -hmm. You make friends on staff mm -hmm. as well as colleagues, and they're there to support you in your profession, in your personal life, like whatever you need. Mm -hmm. And I really like um, the induction program mm -hmm. um, with how you have a mentor and you meet with all the brand new teachers at your site. That offers the level of companionship because you're all kind of in the same boat. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think it's a really positive, incredible experience so far. That's great. So I'm glad you mentioned the induction mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. That's offered to all our first year teachers uh, for two years and it's free. Our district pays for it fortunately where other districts don't pay for that. Mm -hmm. And That's this is a it. this is a great program that they are paired with a mentor and they have that sounding board for someone to talk to for the next two years. Mm -hmm. At the end of the two years they also clear their credential for a clear credential to continue teaching. So it's a great program mm -hmm. um, that's been offered to uh, the employees. And so really if we supports. didn't have that they would have to pay to clear their credential through a program somewhere? Correct. They might have to go to a university okay. or the county office of ed if they okay. offer it. And sometimes it's a struggle because immediately right after school they would have to go and take some classes so everything yeah. is here in our district. That's great to have yeah. it self-contained because yeah. last thing you need as a new teacher is to have to be going somewhere else to take classes and finish your credential mm -hmm. and so I'm mm -hmm. glad that we're, we've are we been able to continue to support right. that program. That is good. So in terms of teacher retention, so you both are fairly new, Two, three years three in? Years, yeah. First year? First year. So we want to keep you forever. <laughs> what What is it that Fremont can do to help support you ongoing. It sounds like so far so good, but mm -hmm. is there anything else that you can think of that would be uh, appealing? Well, I'm definitely staying. Um, <laughs> I signed my contract and emailed it today. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> so it's there. Um, I think that having, I think what makes me want to stay is the experience of the school, how mm -hmm. um, PLC, how we all work so closely together. I think that's been wonderful. There's five kinder teachers at my school. So the five of us meet and we plan and we bounce ideas off each other. And I think what also is really helping me stay is the administrators, um, mm -hmm. Mrs. Ochoa and Ms. Johnson mm -hmm. are wonderful. Um, just the energy of the school. Mm -hmm. I love that everybody's excited. They wanna be there for the kids. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really excited to be a part of that. 
And I think one of my favorite portions of my day is the collaboration aspect, mm -hmm. the time spent discussing with other teachers, mm -hmm. not feeling like an island, trying mm -hmm. to kind of make your way through it on your own. Mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate that Fremont is a district that pushes collaboration and support um, between fellow teachers rather than just being um, sent to pe uh, professional developments or sent to conferences, which we're lucky to have. But on top of those perks, we have the mm -hmm. opportunity to collaborate and mm -hmm. to discuss. Um, and I think ways of retaining teachers are really making them feel valued, making mm -hmm. their time valued, making mm -hmm. uh, the work that they put in feel as appreciated as it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be an ongoing thing just to continue doing because the work put in doesn't start when the bell rings and doesn't end when the right. bell rings. Absolutely. There's a lot more. So the more that the district supports that, yeah. um, the better we can do our job for the children. Mm -hmm. You know, I would really like to uh, add that uh, Dr. Wallace is really committed to continuing the collaboration and, and for teachers. She really feels that the importance of continuing that growth and understands the importance of it. So uh, kudos to Dr. Wallace and the board to continue that part of it. Um, I feel uh, honored that a leader has taken the stance that this is important for our district and to continue that growth. So thank you for continuing to do that. I think it's going to be beneficial for our district and also to the board. Thank you. And like you, when I was a brand new teacher, I taught at my alma mater. I went to Castro Valley High School, just over yonder, and I then taught with teachers who had taught me, mm -hmm. and kind of similar to you. <laughs> and that collaboration time was, it, it made me the teacher that I was. It just, I felt like I stepped up three years in because of the people who I w was working with and so I, th I think we've gotten a little bit off the track of the job fair but what really the theme is is that we're hearing is that there's a culture in Fremont of mutual respect, care and commitment to each other and making sure that we're all there for each other in addition to the families. So I really want to thank you so much for joining us today. We're looking forward to that job fair. Again it's on May 5th on Saturday and tell me again is it morning for one group and an afternoon for another right it is it's going to be multiple subject in the morning and night secondary in the afternoon uh, but it's important that you get online www.edjoint.org and you'll get all the details as an invitation great thank you so much thank you for joining us in community conversations and we'll see you next time <laughs>